had no idea that you had such deep roots in gospel music. Um, your grandmother was a gospel singer. Um, and how did your upbringing around gospel music factor into writing this book? And and, did, and being in the entertainment business and also being in the news business, even more than entertainment, mm -hmm. um, do, did you find it difficult early on starting out to have, to kind of wear your faith on your sleeve? Because I know that initially, you know, even with Jewish people and certainly with people that have Baptist or Pentecostal kind of roots, you know, those kind of things are kind of frowned upon right. early on in, in the business. So talk a little bit about being the granddaughter of a gospel singer and then also about how did you ever feel like you need to hide your faith in the business? That's a brilliant question. And this is why your show is so popular, because you know how to bring it. OK, so <laughs> I'm so glad you asked me that. So let me just start from the beginning. I am the granddaughter of Sister Opal Wills, who used to testify in her storefront church and churches all over the country, and she would sing like fire coming down. So when I became a journalist, you are right. I had to kind of tone that down just when I entered the business, because, you know, I always tell people when you go into these so-called mainstream institutions, they don't understand church. They don't no. understand Holy Ghost. They don't understand Pentecostal. So, you know, I kept it to myself. I'm not ashamed. I never was ashamed of it, but I knew I had to just kind of not you know, openly talk about how I was raised until I felt comfortable, which I do now, which I have felt comfortable for a long time. You know, I've been in the business 30 plus years, Bevy, right? Wow. Right. Yeah. In the journalism business, in the news business. So now I feel very comfortable. And we are also in a different time than when I first got in. When I first got in the news business, you really didn't share your opinions. It was always Nothing. about the other person. And they were always pretty strict about that but now everybody's talking <laughs> everything goes everybody's talking about their personal and i love that because you get to see the authentic side of the person reporting the news to you so i'm so proud to talk about how i sat on the piano stool with my grandmother my grandmother who was born in tennessee jim crow south mm -hmm. and had to walk in the colored sections of restaurants and bathrooms and how when she sang that spiritual came from someplace deep down in her soul mm -hmm. and bevy when she stood up to testify my little head looked up at her and she <laughs> she would turn the church out and then break into a song just like Nor dorothy norwood in this book yes. there's a famous song by dorothy norwood in this book called Denied Mother. And mm -hmm. she talked about how her the daughter came from college and when she saw her mother who had been burned in the fire trying to save her, she walked right on by. My grandmother would testify just like that. So now as an empowered woman, as a seasoned journalist, I feel very comfortable speaking my truth and paying homage to these amazing 25 women who changed the game of gospel. 